Hello everybody on YouTube, I'm John. As you probably know from the fact that this is my channel. It's 2015, Happy New Year by the way. It's probably about time to start thinking about the future, uh, all of Back to the Future 2, hoverboards, all these cool things. One thing that I've been looking into is self-driving cars and there are people on the pro side who say, oh, that'd be so cool, I wouldn't have to drive my own car. Cons are like, oh, I don't really want a robot running more of my life. First, I should mention that there are actual automobile manufacturers who are saying, we want this to happen. Google's got their self-driving car. They've made projections that they should be hitting the road by 2035. Pros! Elderly, young, intoxicated, and elderly citizens can finally drive to Jimmy's house. The U.S. drinking age could actually drop from 21 to 18 because there would be fewer beginner drunk drivers. Young people statistically suck at driving and are even worse when they've had 10 Jaeger bombs. Minorities don't have to deal with racist taxi drivers. You can set up a parking lot in such a way that only a self-driving car can park it. Only the bumpiness of the road is why the ride isn't smooth. Some rich snob in a BMW wouldn't be able to cut up a down-to-earth Joe six-pack in a pickup truck. They would eliminate 90% of accidents, which are caused by human error, increasing the chance that people will die from cancer instead. Auto insurance rates would decrease due to fewer incidents. You wouldn't have to call Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning, saving marriages. Attractive women will no longer be able to get out of speeding tickets, giving ugly dudes a sigh of relief. Controlled speed and... Automatic cruise control would improve fuel economy slightly while also encouraging people to be on time because they can't drive 100 miles per hour to work every morning. Traffic police can get off the highway and start solving real crimes like murder or tornadoes. Cons. You will only be able to watch car chases on the History Channel. NASCAR would just be a bunch of metal cans racing around a circle. Thousands of taxi drivers would have to start looking for jobs they actually like. You would have to actually tell the GPS the address as opposed to it's that place next to that place next to the dry cleaners because it's always next to the dry cleaners. A 16th birthday would become about as meaningless as a 22nd birthday. Well, let me be honest, it was awful. The GPS forgot that one road you were driving on was actually a volcano. The software could get hacked by people who think driving cars into each other is more effective than just actually going up and punching someone in the face in person like a real man. Someone other than your parents might know your location. Suicide bombers would lose integrity because they're not blowing up with the cars they're reportedly driving. People may start texting cars because they've lost all hope in humanity. And finally, Republicans will find a way to blame Obama for anything that goes wrong. This is John Buderbaugh. Have a happy new year.